second hour of Meet the Music engaged in a black cat mambo. That's some fine ska reggae rock music you'll be happy to sample, so don't go away. Meet the Music will be right back after a brief look at the news. Once again, welcome to Meet the Music. It's Julia Meek with Andrew Anderson right here in WBOI's Harriet Parish Performance Studio. And it's Rhythm and Blue Skies this session with the ska reggae sound of Black Cat Mambo. So Meet the Music, it's Black Cat Mambo playing us in with Down in Flames. Black Cat Mambo on WBOI's Meet the Music. Guys, it's great to have you all here. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for having us. <laughs> You're welcome. And uh, maybe you could introduce yourselves and the rest of the band. Uh, my name's Joe Earhart. I'm, uh, I'm playing guitar and singing for you guys. I'm Mark Lunneman on the drums. <laughs> uh, we got Keith Wiles on the bass over in the corner. I'm Jason Nagy on tenor saxophone. I'm Nick Lindeby on trombone. And uh, how long have you guys been together? Give us a, like a brief rundown of your m musical history. Uh, the core of the band here, these uh, these three guys, the, me, uh, Mark, the drummer, and Keith, the uh, bassist, we've been playing together for about three years. When I wrote the bio, I was surprised it was three years. I couldn't believe it had been that long. <laughs> and uh, we searched for a long time to find some horn players. And Nick had just moved from Colorado, the trombone player, to work at Sweetwater Sound, great local company. And he found we found him through Craigslist. It's a good place to go looking for horn players, apparently. And... Uh, my old buddy Jason Nagy had just moved back from St. Louis, and he joined us on uh, on saxophone to finally complete our sound. So it had always been your intention, even when you were just playing. Did you guys play out as a three piece? Yeah, yeah, we we played we played out quite a bit as a three piece. Yeah, we were always definitely looking for horns to fill out the sound. Always heard the melody lines in my head, if you will. That was an original piece that we just heard. Yeah, yeah, that was an original piece. Uh, and sweet, and uh, this being with the music, and uh, we love to uh, put the music where our mouth is. And that would be another original piece coming up next. And why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, this is a tune. This is a tune I wrote probably before I even joined this band. It was an originally acoustic tune. And uh, we sped it up and kind of rocked it out. And it's called Beautiful Outside. It's a pretty standard ska, punk pop sort of song. Meet the music. It's Black Cat Mambo. Beautiful outside. At least it's beautiful inside. It is I? beautiful inside. It's, it's getting more and more beautiful outside. <laughs> That's all good. And here on Meet the Music with Black Cat Mambo. Now, before I ask you what drew you to the ska reggae genres, which you embrace so nicely, what are your musical roots collectively and individually? I played in bands here and around town. I've done a lot of funk and blues, and I guess I was ready to do something a little more upbeat, something... Uh, I don't know, a little less done. How Just, old were you when you started playing? Jim? I was 16 or 17 when I first picked up the guitar. 15. 15, yeah. Actually, I ended up learning a lot from Jason. We're old musical buddies. We've been playing together for quite some time. Jason, did you always play the saxophone? Uh, I, yeah, I played all through high school, but I, I picked up the guitar when I was 12. Okay, so you're diverse. And, and if you did band music, then you did a variety uh, yes, yes. there. How about you? Yeah, I've uh, been playing trombone for... 12 years or so, and I started in ska bands back in Denver, and actually ended up getting my degree in trombone performance, just for the heck of it, mostly, <laughs> and uh, have a degree in recording and production, so I've been playing around Denver quite a bit, and needed someone to play with, and I've been jamming out with these guys. So you so. started the whole ska thing? Yeah, I started there. with ska back in Denver when I was about 17 in high school, and did that whole thing. What about you? Um, I started playing bass probably six years ago something like that i just switched from guitar drums stuff like that so now i'm back on this and here in the whole ska world and, and loving every bit of it yeah pretty much and <laughs> la last but not least are drums yes drums. mark yeah I, I grew up uh my uncle played the drums he taught me when i was younger you know i was an 80s child so i listened to a lot of rock music back from the 80s and didn't really know about the ska music style until probably later in high school when bands like Sublime came out in the mid-90s, you know, that really brought that kind of music to the forefront. And that's when I really started getting into it. I was in a previous ska band around 2003 and pretty much been playing this type of music ever since. Now, Joe, that brings us all around back to you. What, what drew you, especially to collect a whole band like this, what attracted you so much to the ska reggae style? 
I didn't when I started this band I was just looking for an alternative to the funk and blues been playing so I really started this maybe as thinking kind of more of a hardcore hardcore punk project but I was always real into horn players I'm a big Miles Davis fan you mm-hmm. know big just a big horn fan in general and we as we progressed uh, the first drummer we had didn't quite work out and he was more of a punk drummer and uh, Keith Keith knew Mark and we brought Mark in and Mark definitely pushed us into the ska range. these two guys they they've been in the ska scene a lot longer so they played me a whole bunch of really cool third and fourth wave ska old ska and I just yeah, I decided that's the way we were going to go I mean they helped push us that way but after then I was pretty well hooked I just yeah. well you kind of went back if I understand correctly like punk sort of a out, offshoot of of the whole ska and reggae and rock and throw it all together and then it becomes punk so you went backwards on your roots yeah and- yeah well backwards and it just I don't know I didn't we started playing some shows and we were playing just really fast two or three minute songs and I was like wow this is not this is not me actually <laughs> you know so it's still kind of funky so it's still some blues bass and ska so I mean it was just kind of a natural progression back towards back towards a little more I don't know, a fuller sound in Scott than you get out of punk, really more satisfying sound in my ears. Great. And uh, again, I know the next piece that's coming up is an original. Uh-huh. It's called 11 AM and Take It Away, Black Cat Mambo. Black Cat Mambo on WBOI's Meet the Music. Question uh, for you, Joe. Is it hard, like, organizing a band with, like, I don't want to insult home players, but just in general, like, with more people in it than... It's it's a uh, it's difficult from like a logistics sort of standpoint, right? Because you got five schedules and five guys yeah. going five different ways. So finding a time when you can all get together and thankfully, Mark has a house with a, a good basement. We can practice fairly late at night. Otherwise, I don't I don't know where we'd even get together to practice. But as far as the music goes, like Nick and Jay are real good about arranging like themselves. We kind of gave them a CD with a lot of our stuff at the beginning, and there's certain maybe little things that I really want in my head, certain melodies. But for the most part, they they organize it themselves. I'd like to take a lot of credit for the for the whole thing, but it's definitely not me. The logistics of it, I, I do a lot of the getting everyone together for the practice time, but but the actual music, no. And especially we had the bones of all the songs set up beforehand, so it actually worked out pretty well in that sense. We had we had the song structured down; they just had to come in and hear hear their horn parts and, and put it together. So as much as I'd like to say it's all me, it's definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. Well, it works well, and uh, you guys like making the arrangements for this particular band configuration oh, yeah. i've had a lot of fun you know doing this with another horn player like back in the day joe and i i played with saxophone and a band with joe and it's a lot harder you know playing with another horn player because we got to be in tune harmony together but uh it's a lot of fun you know it sounds well and uh next piece coming up is a tune called hotel california yeah, the, the, this is not an original even though we usually claim it at shows we say mark wrote it on the way but <laughs> <laughs> but, but dues where they need to be paid, and it's, it's an eagle song. It's a cover of a cover, actually. It's a lot of our covers we take, and we find another ska band that's taken a song. So it's a copy so, of a so copy. So you re ska the ska uh-huh, of yeah. a non ska. I <laughs> yeah. like that. And yeah, I, we... I'm ex- <laughs> really happy to be uh, getting ready to listen to it. So it's Meet the Music, Black Cat Mambo, and Hotel California. Black Cat Mambo on WBOI's Meet the Music. It's great to have you here, guys. And. Uh, great to be here. Julia, it's great to hear you doing a Jamaican impression. That was very funny. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Sounded good. <laughs> right before I bought my own Perfect, perfect. Great lead in. Um, <laughs> so, guys, are you the only ska band in the area? Who else do you end up playing with? Yep, only ska band in Indiana. <laughs> now, there's a lot of bands like, well, uh, Lucky Alibi appear on your wall. They're definitely one of the mainstays of ska around how those guys those guys rock. Big signed band, no doubt. <laughs> signed band, no doubt, yeah. Yes. A real success for, story from Fort Wayne. URB is not exactly ska, but reggae we definitely fit in right around in there. I don't know if there's any other ska bands quite maybe in our area. Yeah, yeah we end up playing with ourselves a lot of times. Yeah. We play a lot of cover tunes and you know go out and play O'Sullivan's and the Bird Lane and a bunch of three-hour shows and that sort of thing. Yeah, we get a lot of that. It's a little hard to find bands similar to us, but we try. <laughs> it's a Something good time. Close, it's you know? a good time and it's real danceable. Uh, of course, it's hard yeah. not to dance. In fact, music and so you do like connecting with the audience. And yeah, no doubt. yeah, yeah. No, that was one of the main things. Like I don't know if you noticed, maybe the mainstream radio today. It's not about danceable music. A lot of hard rock, a lot of even alternatives, not very danceable. So that was one of the main goals starting this band. I wanted something. It's kind of hard to dance to Lady Gaga sometimes. <laughs> Some very weird. Hard, music. hard for me too. I don't know. Other people, so, other people find a way, but I, I can't. So. And that was that was a cover. Mm-hmm. 
And how did that kind of, how did you find that one, that piece? I mean, what, how did it speak to you so much that you wanted to, well, every, chose to cover it? Everybody around town does, does like a version of Stereo. I think everybody who plays guitar has to learn that song. It's like a Indiana, Indiana mandate or something. But uh, I never heard like a, that upbeat version of it like that. And so I just, I was messing around with the three chords one day and boom. So that's, that's actually one of our original covers. It's not a cover we stole from another ska band. We, as far as I know, there's not original another cover. Original cover, <laughs> like, right? <laughs> there's not another ska band that does it quite, quite that way. Well, I like that, and I know the piece coming up next is an original. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? This this is our uh, deep social commentary song here. This is a hey hey. It's uh, just about what me and my friends like to do, I guess. <laughs> Take it away, Black Cat Mambo here on WBOI's Meet the Music. It's WBOI's Meet the Music here with Black Cat Mambo. Hey, hey, was the last piece we heard. Uh, and may I guess that the next original that we're going to hear is yet another social commentary? This this is actually not a social commentary. It sounds like it would be. Enemies in the Law sounds like it, but it's, mm -hmm. it's just definitely, yeah. Uh... Why don't we get right to it? Black Cat Mambo in Enemies and the Law. Black Cat Mambo on WBOI's Meet the Music. Uh, for our listeners at home, I'd just like to comment that Joe is one of the most impressively sweating <laughs> performers I've ever witnessed on, on Meet the Music. I, I'm just standing here drowning myself. Um, now, do you guys have an interest in the roots of the sort of music are you interested in, like early ska from like the 50s and 60s, that kind of stuff, or not so much? I am a little bit. Some of the older bands. Like, like Desmond Decker, that kind of Toots thing. Toots and the Matles, yeah. you know, those kind of bands, yeah. I mean, you're talking way back, the origins, the origins of it all. The Scalites and some of that. <laughs> way back in the beginning. That old. Not even Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Not even Mark. <laughs> no, I'm a Johnny Come Lately to Ska. I just, just picked it up. <laughs> I mean, there's still some bands out there playing some traditional music, like uh, Deals Gone Bad out of Chicago. Todd, yeah, Todd's the from around lead here. singer, is from Fort Wayne around here. Yeah, from Scott so, and Heavy Step. And those guys play uh, tour all over the world, and uh, you know they're still trying to do the traditional, traditional Ska style music. Yeah, if you ever see Deals Gone Bad's coming into town, make sure make sure your listeners go out and see them. They are amazing. I have to comment, especially because we're on radio, that Mark it, the, is a wonderful drummer, and he just sits there as calm as can be. I'm, I'm not sweating. I'm not, <laughs> not sweating at all. I think all Mark sweats. He's got a little smile on his face and plays amazingly, incredibly good uh, and Thank you. Thank quick you. drumming. I am tired. I may not look it, but <laughs> I'm or sure my arms are feeling all right. <laughs> That's what we love, and uh, also love the music, and want to hear another piece. This coming up, uh, another original. It's one shot. One shot. Did you feel the hula dancing? <laughs> Got it. Got it. <laughs> Grass skirting it here on Meet the Music with Black Cat Mambo. I know folks are going to be able to see you and the and hear you in What's Up's Battle of the Bands mm -hmm. and uh, coming up and the uh, this year and the Rock the Plaza series. Yep. Otherwise, tell us real quick how people can find you electronically should they wish to. Uh, Facebook.com backslash Black Cat Mambo. Just so forward sounds. slash. Forward slash. <laughs> forward slash. <laughs> slash. Uh, see, always on Facebook, there. MySpace, Reverb Nation. Are we still on MySpace? Yeah, I still hey, have a MySpace hey, awesome. account. That guy's on. He's he's our he's awesome, our uh, web director. He's a he, he's, yeah, he's he wears a lot oh, of hats. We, we're on Twitter a, too. We're on he Twitter. Well, really find him. Do we tweet? Sometimes I'm gonna start tweeting. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> Gotta say once again, out of time, and say goodbye and a great big thank you to Black Cat Mambo. They're leaving us with Superman and for Meet the Music, Andrew Anderson, Al Mosey, and Ed Didier. I'm Julia Meek.